right, all right, man. Whew. I was trying to take a break, y'all, but fruit people been hitting me up, and sh uh, it's crazy, really. You know, but we finna go in here in a few minutes. Hope everybody been doing all right, you know what I'm saying? You know, can't even take a little break from, you know, from this shit. But it's all good, though, you know. Shout out to them, you know. My day ones, you know, my day one soul family that I understand, you know. I get tired sometimes, you know. But it's all good. So let's go and get into it. Um, let's see what we got. Back them, back them. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm gonna start uh, with this one. <laughs> Supposed to be my day one, my day one. Oh, why you acting like a number two? A number two. My old friends acting brand new, brand new. Like bro, I'm a one man band. Cool. What happened to you? You supposed to be my day one, my day one. Oh, why you acting like a number two? A number two. My old friends acting brand new, brand new. Like bro, I'm a one man band. Cool. What happened to you? Uh, it ain't fair. People like me is rare. Hard to find, you can't not find one like me anywhere. You can climb the highest mountains, dive deep below the seas. Just keep it G, it ain't too many like me. You went from day one to day two to day three. Used to be my cutie, now you buddy and I can see. People say they love me, they only hit me when they need me. It's so deceiving, these parasites, they greedy. Yeah, I had to separate myself. Can't be surrounded by somebody being somebody else. Yeah, I had to separate myself. 25 lighters on my shelf. To my you last breath. Day one, my day one. Why you acting like a number two? A number two. My old friends acting brand new. Brand new. Like bro, I'm a one man band crew. What happened to you? You supposed to be my day. My day one, oh, why you acting like a number two? A number two, my old friends acting brand new, brand new. Like, oh, I'm a one man band crew. What happened to you? Hey, I thought support supposed to go both ways. It's kind of crazy how your friends turn gray, but a stranger will show love every day. Sometimes I don't know what else to say. But hey, you know me, I'm okay. I'm in my own league, so I ain't got a race. It be the people in your space they wanna hate. At the same time, they wanna take your place. I had to separate myself. Can't be surrounded by people being somebody else. Yeah, I had to separate myself. 25 lighters on my shelf to my last of my day one. My day one. Why you acting like a number two? A number two. My old friends acting brand new. Brand new. Like, bro, I'm a one man band crew. What happened to you? You supposed to be my day one. My day one. Why you acting like a number two? A number two. My old friends acting brand new. Brand new. Like, bro, I'm a one man band crew. What happened to you? I'm gonna get this game. Everything I got. I'ma give it everything. Hate on you. Guess what? That shit won't. No, it won't. That's what I start. I'm gonna get this game. Every little thing I got. I'ma give it everything. When people flake on you. Guess what? That shit won't. Stop. And it don't. So it's my day one. My day one. Oh, why you acting like a number two? A number two. My old friends acting brand new. Brand new. Like, bro, I'm a one man band crew. What happened to you? You supposed to be my day one. My day one. Oh, why you acting 
looking like a number two, a number two. My old friends acting brand new, brand new. Like bro, I'm a one man band crew. What happened to you? Welcome back to another episode of Crisis Counseling, where we keep it real and transparent. You already know how we do it. We the truth. So yeah, family, like I said, I was trying to take a little break. A lot of people been messaging me and, um, you know, and it's not, the, you know, none of, none of y'all, you know, like I said, shout out to the day ones, my day one soul family that's, that's been rocking with me you know, from the get-go, right? So, yeah, man, y'all see the title, you know what I'm saying? This world is a giant computer, and your beliefs is is the software, right? So, I said, well, I was trying to take a break this the rest of the week. People been hitting me up, um... Before we go in, you know, uh, somebody had messaged me on the uh, on the YouTube, right? Let's see, internet noob. I mean, most of these people, you know, what I'm saying they don't uh, they don't understand, you know me, and that's cool. Like I said, I'm not here for everybody to understand me. And so, it's all good. So, uh, yeah, Internet Noob had hit me up. You know, the video I took down where I was saying everything is becoming obvious, right? Everything is becoming obvious. And so, some people want to smoke, right? And that's cool. You want to smoke, I'm going give, to give you more fire to the flame. I'm going to add some more fire to the flame. So today you gon' so today you gonna be empowered today. And so, yeah, let's read that comment. Uh the comment says would you have hold on, yeah. Would you have white supremacy replaced by black supremacy? Sorry, I think that's no good either, right? And like I said, most of these people, you know, don't understand me, and that's cool. You know, sometimes I, I talk contradictions, right? And if you don't understand it, then it's not for you. It's really not for you. Um, and that's how I basically air out most of the people that's just really on my page for for the bullshit that's really not, you know what I'm saying, not liking nothing, not sharing nothing, not uh, not participating, right? And so, there's no such thing as fucking black supremacy, right? There's no such thing as black supremacy. So when I was saying they fear black planet, right? They fear us coming back and raising up to our power. So I'm about to go in today. Like I said, y'all about to be in power today. And um, let me open my Kindle so we can explain this thing for what it really is. Um, Because they basically arguing that most people want to argue about this shit right most of them don't know most of these people i've like i said i air I, I i spread these contradictions to air the people out that's really not on the on the frequency you know what i'm saying um like, like i said this person here that commented 
don't even have no fucking profile picture, right? So they might be a clone or, or, or a fucking agent or some shit like that. And it is what it is. It really is what it is. So there's no such thing as black supremacy, bro. And I don't even like to say white supremacy. Because, cause, you know, they only hate. They only hate you because they ain't you. They only hate us because they ain't us. So, over the weekend, you know, I powered up, you know what I'm saying, and got into my magic, did me a couple of rituals that I don't really want to speak on, but I got, got into it, and the energy was very powerful, very powerful. And so... Uh, another person hit me up was like, man, when the next time you gonna do another uh, Bobby Hemi video? Y'all don't understand, man. Like, this man is retired, right? Let that man retire. You know, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna keep dropping the videos regardless. But we all, sometimes we all need a break from the bullshit. It's time out from the bullshit. You know, when I first got into this thing, I got into it because I wanted to know. I always knew that it was something, you know, missing in my life. Something, you know, that I didn't know. And so when I came into it, this was all about me freeing myself from all the bullshit that I've been taught. All of, you know, nonsense that I've been taught to change my perspectives and, and become the scientist or the philosopher. So crisis counseling is all about handing somebody, handing you the mirror so you can look at your reflection and see what you got to work on. And like I said, as I'm helping y'all, I'm helping my fucking self because I get on here I expose my ego, and that's what the demiurge is. It's your fucking ego. That's why I said the the demiurge and the archons are here. Why? Because there's so many people full of a fucking ego. You know what I'm saying? Full of all of full of all the worldly things, and they don't want to wake up. You know what I'm saying? I done passed that level of trying to wake people, wake these Negroes up because it's more than, it takes more than just trying to wake these Negroes up, right? You got to kill what the fuck they believe in. It's, 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 it's real. You just got to kill what they believe in. And so we're going to read uh, a couple chapters. I'm going to spend a little time with y'all today. We're going to read a few chapters out this uh, Akashic Records book, right? So we can explain how the world is a, is a giant computer and your beliefs is the software. What software are you installing on your computer or on your brain? What, what softwares are you placing inside of your life? Right? What softwares? And we're going to get into the different softwares. But first, let's talk about the physical plane. Or, or you know, if you add a T on it, the physical planet. Okay? Let's go in. Let's go in on them. Because the madness is only going to get worse, right? Because, like I said, the Demiurge here, the Archons here, but it's all your fucking ego. So, the sister breakdowns the physical plane. The physical plane is the plane or the planet that you live in now. You probably understand this plane or planet pretty well. So, it only needs a brief explanation, right? Because we all here. But we live on different planes as well as different planets. 
the physical plane is the densest, right? The densest and slowest vibration out of all the planes or planets. Here, time and space makes themselves known. Time and space, the matrix, right? And what we when we call the matrix, the matrix is if you cut open your brain, there's like this spider web substance around your brain, the web, the internet, all of this shit is connected. We made all of this shit. Okay. Here yeah, 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 I read that one already. You you have come here on earth, and if you're reading this book, you mostly you most likely have been here before, right? We all been here before, over and over and over again, right? Over and over again, reincarnation after reincarnation. Even if you feel you have had a lifetime living on some other planet, you still are you you are still part of the earth plane you have a genetic material and energy of the earth because you have the same dna as your ancestors that are part of the earth my suggestions to you is don't try to deny your earthliness right we call ourselves gods. We call ourselves goddesses. But we can't deny our earthliness. When you deny that you have earthly DNA, then you deny the work that needs to happen for you. You need to work through every aspect of yourself, including anything locked in your DNA. We talk about how most humans only use 10% of their brain and the 90% is basically locked, right? We talk about that. We know about that. To ascend through the linear karma and be able to master the physical and the emotional and the mental planes, you got to ascend. You have to ascend. That's what all of this, this what we going through. You know what I'm saying? It's not a war on fucking race, right? This is a war against your fucking ego and your higher self. What do you really want? What do you really desire? What do you really desire? Once you start working in the Akashic Records on a quantum field, you won't feel so disconnected from the earth. And that's what a lot of people feeling and going through right now. They feel so disconnected from the earth with all the fucking distractions, right? They, they know, they know how to play on our emotions. They know how to make us laugh. They know how to make us cry. You know what I'm saying? They know how to bring death upon us because we trapped and feeling disconnected from the earth, mother earth. And most of and most of us can't even say that earth is our mother, right? Because we come from different planes or planets. And you will start to, to appreciate what it is and what has what it has to offer to you, right? What it has to offer to you. You got to appreciate your life while you're on this earth. You got to appreciate it. With all the madness going on, you got to appreciate your life. You got to appreciate those that are in your life and appreciate what earth has to offer to you. All of this consciousness. We're going to keep going. The physical plane is a divine gift. In my opinion, it is one of the most divine gifts available to any, any sentient being. On the physical plane, you can experience the creation 
of a physical object from the ethers, right? From the ethers, the other plane, the higher, the, the real realms. You can bring that shit down and you can manifest whatever you want on earth. That's what we call magic, tapping into the ether planes. On the other planes, we can create, but we are creating ether from the ether, from or what you want to call heaven. Here we create physical from the ether. How fun is that? Right? We attracting all of this stuff, right? And so we finna get into the, the emotional plane or the emotional planet. Okay? The emotional plane or the emotional planet connects to the emotions and thoughts that are sent out from the human beings on the physical plane. Like I was saying, your emotions, your thoughts, they want to control that shit. They want to control your emotions and your thoughts. That's what the whole thing is about. Everyone interacts with the emotional plane often since it has the, close, the closest vibration to the physical plane. The emotional plane has the closest vibration to the physical plane. The physical plane is the lowest vibration. Right? The lowest vibration. The densest vibration. And depending on how high your emotions and your thoughts vibrate, you can bring whatever you want down to fucking earth or the physical plane or the physical planet. The emotional plane or planet is a reflection of the physical plane or planet. It is du du dualistic. Like the physical plane, we interact with the countless dimensions connected to the emotional plane. For ease of examination, visualize the, these planes as a split in two groups of considering frequency, lower and higher frequency. As you move through the planes or planets, the vibration of each plane change frequencies. It becomes less connected to denseness, the denseness of the physical plane. Therefore, the vibration becomes less dense as you move through the planes or planets. Remember that technologically, the plane is, is, is spiral energy. Like I said, the, the universe is a fucking spiral. You either going up, you either spiraling up into a higher frequency or you spiraling down. We're going to talk about that later. And within each plane, it is in, oh yeah, it, in, within each plane is the other plane. It is not linear. However, there is a difference in the energy and vibration of these planes. And the difference is, is bet, between denser and less dense energy. Think of it this way. One kind of vibration is closer to the physical plane. And the other vibration is at a different frequency as you move through the planes or planets. Your interaction with the emotional plane happens not just through your individual experience, but through the collective experience of everyone on the physical plane. And in other words, it is a collective consciousness experience that that accumulates on the emotional plane and the emotional energy becomes stronger since so many people are constantly feeding it, right? So if you steady feeding into the, the, the fucking uh, CNN, the fucking Fox News and the fucking Corona, the fucking uh, 5G, the fucking Illuminati, the deep state and all of this bullshit, this shit gonna keep on going and going. It's going to keep going and going. 
You know what I'm saying? So what software are you uploading into your computer, your brain? Self-victimization is a fucking disease. It's the fucking software. The coronavirus is a fucking software. If you believe this shit and you upload it into your brain, you get the fucking virus. Hear me, people. Hear me, people. You get the fucking virus. Low self-esteem. That is a software. All of your traumas. That's a fucking software. Okay? All the bullshit that you, 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 you know, a lot of people want to be hurt right now. That's a fucking software. Police brutality. That's a fucking software. If we keep feeding into these different things as a collective, on the whole, they know they can keep this bullshit going. They can keep it going and we can keep on trying to figure this shit out until we wake up and rise up to our power, family. This is what it's all about. Why be a king when you are a god? Why be a king when you are a god? They know who we are. They hate us because they ain't us. They can only vibrate on a certain plane. After the astral plane, I don't see no fucking white people. And that's how you know who is really, you know, vibrating on a higher level. Because when I go into the dream world and I climb these different planes or planets, I only see certain people. Okay? So the low, lower vibration aspect of the emotional plane, the thought forms and emotional energies from the earth plane accumulate on this plane that we're on right now. So your thoughts and emotions, it's a, it accumulate on this plane, making it a reflection of both the earth and the physical plane. So it holds both the positive energy and negative thoughts. The positive thoughts and the negative thoughts. Feelings and energies that we all collectively project outward. This is very strong emotion hold here, which is why the energy of our emotions have so much power over us. You and so many other people have difficulty moving past their emotions. When they have difficulty moving past, when you have difficulty moving past your emotions or your emotionally react, you have not mastered the emotionally energy connected to the duality of the physical plane. There's layers to this shit. There's layers to this shit. And the way you think Yo, the way you think when you start your day, it, like you, you got to be very aware of this shit, right? You got to be very aware of this shit. We, we already see more and more cops killings because they, they, they know how to play on our emotions. They know if we feel like we are really in a threat, that the black man is really in threat, right? I'm looking at all these different things. I'm seeing different protests with a white woman out there holding black dildos up, right? So what does Black Lives Matter really mean? What does it really mean? Is this a, a whole hoax to get people to gather together and, and, and connect with each other on another level? Uh, we got to think about that. Like all the people that, that really truly participated in uh, that blackout thing, that was a red pill already exposed it. That was a whole ritual. But see, they play on our emotions and our thoughts. And if we don't start thinking before we participate in these different social programming, we fall into the ritual. 
And when you fall into the ritual, you become a slave to it. So, like I said, be very aware. No disrespect to nobody. We just breaking this shit down. And that's why I wanted to open the book up before I started talking about the meta human book. So you can learn how to rise up to your power. We say rise in power to the ancestors, but it's our time. You know what I'm saying? To the brother that was asking, when the next Bobby, you going to drop another Bobby Hemet has retired. When are the new Bobby Hemets and the new Dr. Fields and the new Brother Panics and the new Dr. Aleems and the new Dr. Phil Valentines are going to wake up? They done put their time in. Of course, we all are not lecturers, right? We are all not teachers, but we all have that same energy. That same energy is within us. So I respect the elders. They washed our feet with all the different lectures, trying to wake us up and teach us what time it really is, what time it really is. So, but it's our time to shine now. It's our time to shine now. So let's go to the next paragraph. We're going to keep going. You know what I'm saying? I already passed my 30 minute mark, but like I said, you're going to be empowered today so you can understand this thing. The higher vibrational aspect of the emotional plane. We already talked about the lower. We're talking about the higher aspect of the emotional plane. Since we incarnate on the physical plane, that means all of us are still mastering the physical. We still here. If you're not dead, you haven't mastered the physical plane or the physical planet yet. So we still mastering our emotions. Emotional and mental planes in the physical plane, the emotional and mental bodies we have different layers of bodies right we stuck in a physical body right now until we learn how to master this shit and us and truly ascend many tend to reincarnate on earth on the earth plane because they are working through some of their emotional energies they didn't deal with on the on the physical plane Archetypes are represented on this plane because of the emotional vibration archetypes have. An archetype is a concept that represents the idea, perfect example of a thing or a universe symbol or character. Carl Jung, the creator of the concept, felt there are many different archetypes there are many different archetypes like like when i look back i see sir saint nick but sir saint nick died now y'all seeing the galactic human different archetypes different levels of consciousness but he he highlighted 12 main types of ways of being that he felt embodied the human psyche. Some examples of archetypes are the hero, the queen, the lover, the sage, the innocent, or the rebel. Since all people are so connected to this plane, we all emotionally connect to the archetypes. The thoughts and emotions connected to the archetypes or the collective unconscious are collected here on this earth plane. No, no, on the higher, higher aspect of the, of the emotional plane. We can tap into the collective conscience to transcend it. That's what we're talking about, raising up to the different levels because God is nothing but a consciousness. You are always connecting and interacting with this plane through your emotions which in turn bring the emotional experience the emotional experiences back to you if you are in a emotional vibration match to a certain experience 
this plane helps create that experience in your life. Nothing is, and nothing is a coincidence. Your emotions bring down everything how you feeling. Everything of how you feeling. Again, all the planes or planets interact with each other and you create on all the planes or planets. Once you realize this, you can start using the Akashic Records to help you move past the difficulties and the attachments you have on these planes so that you can transcend. Like the physical plane, the emotional plane is also a plane or planet where there can be many illusions. We talk about the world as an illusion, but we're creating these illusions through our emotions through the higher aspect of that plane. Next, we're going to talk about the mental plane, right? And the mental plane, it gets deeper. This is what we say. You can do all the fucking cleansing you want to do, all the spiritual baths, all the fucking affirmations you, you do, all the fucking rituals, all of these different things. But until you learn how to master the mental plane, we finna go and go into it. Most people who incarnate on earth are mastering the mental plane as well as the emotional plane and physical planes or planets. The material matter on the mental plane is less dense and vibrates at a higher frequency than on the physical and the emotional planes or planets. On the mental plane, there are few particles, or what we call matter, that dark matter, or what we call melanin, and more light energy waves as opposed to the physical, where we experience more matter, which is why it is dense energy, right? All of these different objects we see. It's just more matter and more dense energy. So that's why we think that all of this shit is real. Everything created on the physical plane has to be created first on the mental plane. Let me say that again. Everything created on this physical plane or planet has to be created first on the mental plane or mental planet up here as a thought or idea. Since creation on the physical plane starts in the mental plane, it then begins to gain denseness on the emotional plane, your emotions, energy in motion, as it connects to the emotions, which are a perfect vibrational match. Once the vibrational match from the mental and the emotional planes come together, the energy becomes a denser vibration, which then becomes a physical possibility on the physical plane or planet, what we call the law of attraction, right? You attracting all of these different things in your life. You attracting that bad woman, my brother. You attracting that bad man, my sister. It's all up here. Until you rearrange how the way you think on the mental plane, you just, you just ignorant of what you're creating and bring it down here on the physical plane or the physical plane. Let's continue. I am explaining exactly how the law of attraction works. We just got through saying it within cosmology of creation. You have thoughts about what you desire, right? Everything you desire. We just got through saying that early. And the vibrational match comes back to you. Let's say you keep thinking about changing your job, right? Or let's even add something in there. Let's, think, let's say you keep thinking about how you hate your job or how you about to get fired. You attract that shit. So these thoughts go into the mental plane as a vibrational frequency. These feelings 
and thoughts about hating your job vibrate out and connects to the to the mental and the emotional plane. These vibrations start becoming more and more powerful as you think the thoughts and feel the emotions, right? You you just know when you're going in that motherfucker. You feeling that shit. You like, man, I'm, I'm about to quit this job. Man, I can't stand this job. And then you attract that shit. We attracting this shit, y'all. We attracting. We brought this shit down. You are energetically connected with the emotional and mental planes or planets. So they start to bring experiences to you on the physical plane that match your thoughts and feelings. These may be all sorts of things, including new job opportunities, right? You want a new job? You got to, you got to, you got to start thinking on that level. You know what I'm saying? Possibilities of losing your job. If you, if you think in that way, you eventually attract that shit, right? Or an, ain't, or an accident or illness that leaves you without a job. So like I said, this coronavirus is the software that they placed in front of us. 40 million people without a job. All these different businesses gone. But now they saying that so many done came back, right? Within uh, the last month that we came through. Because people getting tired. We are controlling our own little matrix. You got to become Neo. If you want to control your life, you got to take the red pill. If you want to stay asleep, you take the blue pill and you keep going on and living the bullshit and the lies that they've been feeding us. But the lies are no longer working anymore. And if you still can't see that, then you obviously took the red pill. I mean the blue pill, right? Instead of the red pill. So let's continue, y'all. Even if the thoughts and feelings seem like they are just in your head. We live in a spiral energy system. Like I said, you either spiraling up or you spiraling down. You know what I'm saying? Heaven and hell is, is the way that you fucking think. It's not a fucking place. It's, a, it's the way you think. It's the way your emotions, it's the way you speaking. Your words have fucking power. Until you believe that you're going to keep living in the, in the ignorance that they've been putting inside of us and, and persuading us to think. Where every energy is interacting with, with the other planes. When you have a thought or an experience, it already started on, to, on the mental plane. Then moves into the emotional plane, your heart, your emotions, your energy. And, you're, and you experience it on the physical plane or, or the physical planet. It's like a piece of, yeah, it's like a piece of computer code. That's why it's, I named the title the way I named it. It's like a piece of a computer code. You make a change in the code and it spirals out and makes changes in so many areas of the whole software program. Dropping the jewels on y'all, y'all. Dropping the jewels on y'all. This world is a giant computer. What you believe, how you feeling, how you thinking is what type of program you install on the mental plane, the mental plane. Let's continue. Because like I said, I'm going to break this shit down and I'm going to get on up off of here. Yeah. Your interactions with the world around you include interacting with the planes or planets. I'm going to keep saying that. Got to keep adding a T on there so you know what I'm, what I'm getting at. Yes, all is mental. You, you think your thoughts and feelings only affect you, but they are but they are creating your reality 
and all of your experiences. Let me read that again. <laughs> Let me read that again. Like, <laughs> But they are creating your reality and all of your experiences. Too many believe that if they have positive thoughts, they should create a, a perfect life, right? So many people want to think that if you just have, if you just think positive, you know what I'm saying? You, you can create this perfect life. No, it goes way deeper than that. You got to actually believe this shit. You can keep having these different thoughts, but if your emotions are, are a total fucking opposite from the thoughts that you having, then you create what, what we call that karma shit, right? Right? But most of your thoughts are subconscious. So you are consciously unaware of them. <laughs> Let me read that again. Most of your thoughts are subconscious. So you are consciously, uh, you are consciously unaware of them. Positive thinking is only part of the equation. It's only part of it. We dropping the jewels on y'all today. Like I said, you finna be empowered. So you can stop worrying about these fucking cop killings. Stop worrying about fucking Corona. Stop worrying about all of this bullshit and fucking master this plane. Become a fucking God. The part is your subconscious feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. Man, until you understand that, you are unaware of your, your, how powerful your, your mind truly is when it comes to the subconscious. Let's see what uh, Laura Johnson said. Is it possible to think positive every minute? Of course. If, if, if that's what you want to do, you can do it. You can do it. And even Dr. Aleem L. Bay says, if you think positive and think love, for about 30 to uh, on years, you you can just transcend up out of here without facing death. But the ego plays so many tricks and minds on mind games on us where we feel like, you know what I'm saying, we have to come back because we did this wrong. This this plane was never meant for you to get everything perfect. Like, 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 like the book said, is that's just only one aspect. You got to master your subconscious mind, your feelings and thoughts and beliefs. That's what we are going through. Attack on our subconscious mind. It's a psychological warfare on the subconscious mind. Let's continue. All creation on the emotional and physical planes or planets come through the mental as a human being, you are feeding all energy vibrations through thoughts and feelings in all three, the mental, emotional, and physical plane. The mental, the emotion is your heart, and the physical plane is just your entire body, your aura. Because once you tap into the mental, the mental brings down how you're feeling emotionally. And then that affects your aura, and that's how you create it. That's how you bring these things down. One second, y'all. Let me uh plug this charge in, because I'm going in, and it is what it is. We're going to keep it going until we get to the point, because I, like I said, as I'm helping y'all, I'm helping myself. Let the masses be asses, right? Let the masses keep doing what they do. Uh, this book is on, um, one second. This is the uh, a radical approach to the Akashic Records. It's a pretty good book, y'all. Um, like I said, I'll drop the title and stuff down once I get off of here. Um, 
Let's see where I left out at. Um, yeah. These planes are also interacting with, with you, whether you know it or not. But see, the 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 what we call the Illuminati and the deep state and all of this stuff, they know this stuff. That's why they playing with our emotions. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that our emotions connect to the mental plane. You are constantly communicating with these planes or planets through your emotions and your thoughts, which in turn are communicating back to you. The planes communicate with you through thoughts, feelings, your opportunities and experiences. Like when you meet a new, like when you meet new people, get a job, have an argument, and every other experience, every single thing that you have seen, felt, or experienced had to come through all, yeah, all of the planes or planets that manifest in your life. It's going to finish wrapping it up and I'm going to get on up off of here. Since you are in constant communication with all the planes, the energy flow is symbolic. And that's how it communicates back to your subconscious mind. If you keep watching the bullshit, you put in those symbols and all of that stuff goes into your subconscious mind. And we already talked about how the subconscious mind is 30 times stronger than your conscious mind, right? It rules and creates everything around you. You send it out and receive it back. It's a perfect dance of energy, right? To see how it all works, take Sharon, for example. Sharon divorced five years ago, and she is trying to create a new romantic relationship, right? A lot of people try, looking for that new flame. They twin soul. They, they, they soulmate. She talks about dating and finding her perfect soulmate if it were just her conscious thoughts that would help her to create an amazing partner, right? Then he would have shown up years ago. In reality, Sharon is constantly... Uh, berating the man in her life her father her boss her sisters husband she seems she sees them all as backstabbing and unreliable right she is very angry and bitter toward men and she's not aware of that uh, at all right she's not aware of this she bashing everybody every man she come through she smacking her lips, right? She going off. She's not aware of that at all. She seen she yeah, she tells me that she has the perfect man in mind for herself and is manifesting him to come into her life. But what happens? Sharon doesn't know how to create oh no, her, she doesn't know how to create change in her life. So she starts creating things along the lines of the same old pattern, right? We keep going through the same old bullshit. Same relationship, different person. Same relationship, different person. Sharon last two boyfriends have been disloyal and emotionally unavailable. At first she falls in love quickly but these men start to do things she perceives as disrespectful, which makes her angry. These men are not showing up from just words. She thinks and or says like, I attract an amazing life partner. The man she attracts are coming as a result of the words she says as well as the thoughts and feelings about other men. These feelings do not match her goal, but the universe is sending her a match for 
the emotions she's putting out. Of all of all of this starts on the mental plane. Sharon sends the subconscious negative vibrations and thoughts about men in the mental plane. In the mental plane finds a vibration match in a through different men. The emotional plane starts to connect the emotional vibration Sharon is expressing. And the mental and the emotional plane or planet starts to work together to bring her what she desires, which are unconscious thoughts, feelings, and actions. Not what she said was manifesting. Right? And so I'm going to end it on that, y'all. It's not just, you know, you got to, ba- it's all a balance. You got to balance the mental of how, what you trying to attract. Your heart and your desires got to match that shit. Because once you, once you attract it, you, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You get one good side, but then you get what your subconscious mind is truly saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help y'all out. You know what I'm saying? This for the soul family. Fuck everybody else. Let the sheep sleep. You got to master your mental and your emotions at the same time. That balance. Your heart got to be light as a feather. Lighter than a feather. Right? And so as we learn how to control our emotions and our mental or the subconscious, we we won't be aware of why we keep attracting all these different relationships or but they the same person. The same person, right? The same person. So if ain't nobody gonna call in, man, uh like I said, that's the book uh Radical Approach to the Akashic Records. It's a pretty good book. Um you said Master Your Life and Raise Your Vibration by Melissa Flitick. A uh, pretty good book. Like I said, I I keep most of my books on a Kindle because uh it's just hard trying to carry all these different books and you you know you just wanna know what's really going on until you know we master our energy, our emotions and our mental thoughts and what we really truly want to desire. We're going to keep repeating until everybody on this fucking planet stop worrying about fucking Corona. Stop worrying about the bullshit. It's going to stay here. The Demiurge and the Archons is your fucking ego. The ego want to survive. The ego don't want you to wake up to your true consciousness. So before I get out of here. Uh, yeah, no, it's the, uh, a, a radical approach to the Akashic Records. Okay. The Akashic Records is spelled A-K-A-S-H-I-C. Now, I know you know how to spell records. You know what I'm saying? The Akashic Records, radical approach to the Akashic Records. We all have the ability to tap into these different planes, right? And so, with that being all said and presented, family, guess I'm going to play the theme song for the year, and I'm going to get on out of here, man. I appreciate everybody timing in. Like I said, this is a physical, this is a psychological warfare that we're going through. They know that we have the ability to tap into different planets or planes. And that's why it is what it is. Yeah, grab that. You got to grab that, man. Like I said, that's just the proof, the proof of paragraphs. It goes even deeper into, you know what I'm saying, how to tap into these different levels of consciousness in the brain. But yeah, I wanted to read one more thing because we talked about, you know, 
consciousness and stuff. But like I was saying, God is a consciousness, right? God is a consciousness, not a creator. God is the source of creation itself. It is not he or she. It is not independent of you, right? It is not independent of you. It is the totality of everything, right? Everything has a consciousness. So when I call myself a God, I am not talking about my personal life. Like we said earlier in the, in the first paragraphs, I don't deny my humanness, right? I don't deny that I'm here as a human because I'm here to master this physical plane. I'm talking about the expression of the God self that rests inside of me, right? the pineal gland, the kundalini energy, the chakras, right? The verb, the energy, not the noun. Once you think God is a noun, person, place, or thing, you separate yourself from it and immediately become a limited being. We are unlimited. That's what separates the believers you know, from religious religious people, from the knowers, the spiritual people. So yeah, we're gonna get into this uh, the intro. I mean the outro, and we're gonna get on up out of here, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Dog, you are. All you have to work. When you know who you are, you know your work. Black man, see the wind is a black man, living in this world of sin is a black man, black man, black man, as a black man, gotta be a lot smarter as a black man, know your worth, you a king if you're a black man, black man, black man, living in this as a black man, don't wanna see you win as a black man, living in this world of sin is a black man, black man, black man, as a black man. Got a lot smarter as a black man. You a king if you're a black man. That's the tongue they're saying to me. It's the motherfuckers that been killing us for centuries. It put us in penitentiary. Wake up eventually. Young and a black. There's a threat. We'll be here. We all dizzy. Eclipse. Holes in the holes, huh? That's what y'all assuming. These motherfuckers don't even consider us as humans. We gotta be one of Trying to ruin me. I'm just trying to build a better you and me. Hey, don't tell me. For power. Out here doing the most. Cause I'm aware and I'm woke. Uh, ain't your enemy It's the motherfuckers that been killing us for centuries They put us in penitentiaries We all sleep, we gotta wake up eventually Black man Black man As a black man They don't wanna see your weed as a black man Living in this life of sin as a black man As a black man Gotta be a lot smarter as a black man Know your worth, you a king if you a black man as a black man, they don't want to see you win as a black man. Living in this life, man, I'm telling you. Black man, as a black man, as a black man, you a king, you a black man. All right, so family, I appreciate Bell turning in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Feel like I gave you anything, you know what I'm saying? Hit that cash app, and ain't nothing but a dollar, you know what I'm saying? Dollar challenge. Uh, peace to the gods and goddesses. Y'all already know how we do it, man. We transparent. And we 
keep it real. So with all that being presented and said, I'm out. You know what I'm talking about? Rising power to the ancestors. I shave.